Concerned viewers reached out to News 10 this morning about dead fish in the Atchafalaya Basin. News 10's Dalford Jones went to find some answers as to what's killing the marine life in a popular fishing community. Basically what we're seeing now are small pockets of dead fish. Here in Bay Paten, just under I-10, you can see a bass floating in the water just behind us. Now, unfortunately, the mayor of Henderson, Sherman Colette, says this isn't the first time he's seen something like this. Mayor Sherman Colette says three or four years ago, he and his wife were going fishing. When they arrived at the landing, several hundred pounds of dead fish covered the water. But today we saw bass and we saw brim. That's not a good sign. In recent weeks, we've seen record heat. Hot temperatures combined with the abnormally high water levels is contributing to killing the right fish. Now, this rain we're getting right now is not helping anything. The only thing that can put oxygen in the water pretty much is the sun and the wind. 40-year fisherman Skip Kovac says this isn't the first time he's seen something like this, and he believes he knows why it's happening. The water's falling so fast, water gets up in the shallow woods, got a lot of dead, decaying leaves and other uh, organic matter that just falls into the water, it takes the oxygen out of the water. When it falls so fast, fish can't adapt and you have a big fish kill, and I'm afraid that's what's fixing to happen. The mayor says they will continue to monitor the situation day by day. If it continues, he'll make the call to the Tesh Vermilion pumping station to allow fresh water to flow. In Henderson, Dalford Jones for KLFY News 10.